In our last lesson, we have learned about array tables in Roblox. In this lesson, we're going to learn about dictionary tables in Roblox. In a way, dictionaries are like the cousins of arrays. The only difference is, instead of having the index value pair, like in an array, you have index 1, 2, 3, 4, and each of these elements has a value in it, the uh, dictionary has a key value pair. And in the dictionary, the elements, they are not in any order. So for example, this could be up here and this could be down here. And we can say that this is north is equal to Canada. East is equal to the Atlantic Ocean, let's say. On the west is equal to the Pacific Ocean and in the south is Mexico. So that's the general picture of a dictionary in Roblox. Now let's take a look at how we can declare a dictionary in the script. So let's go ahead and go to the uh, service script service and add a script. To declare a dictionary table you can do something like this. Local location equals to and just use two brackets. If you like to initialize your dictionary table, you can add values to it. So the way you do it is you start with the key value. So for example, I use a square bracket and let's say my first key is north and I'm gonna set it equals to Canada. And I'm going to use a comma and I'm going to enter my next key value pair. So let's say my next key value pair is south and that's equal to Mexico. All right. And let's um, do west is equal to the Pacific Ocean and lastly my last key value pair is east and that's the Atlantic Ocean. Whoops. Okay, so there we go. Now to get the values from the table, you're just going to do this. Declare a variable local north equal to the name of the dictionary, which is location, followed by the key north. Alright, um, Let's print out the variable. And play to test. I'm going to go to my views and I'm going to open my output window. And there you see it, Canada. And that's uh, being printed from this statement right here. So Canada is the value inside the, the variable north. There is an easier way to declare your dictionaries. So instead of using the brackets and the quotations, you can just remove those. So I'm just going to go and remove these brackets and the, co and the quotes. And that should work the same way. And also, you, you don't need the brackets and the quotes here. You can just use a period. All right, let's play to test. And here it is, Canada. That is printed from the same statement. But in this case, 
we're doing it without the uh, brackets and the codes. Now the only drawback with this is if your key has a blank space in it, for example, if your key is nowhere equals to take a guess, right? It's not going to work because you see there is an error message here, right? So in that case, what you want to do is you want, want to still use the brackets. When there is a space in your keys, just use the old method with the brackets and the quotations. And now you can print it out to test. So we're going to do print and the name of the table, which is location, followed by the, the key, which is nowhere. And here it is, take a guess and it's printed from the location nowhere. You can also have numeric keys in your dictionaries. For example, here I have a dictionary, numeric keys, and for the keys I have the numbers 1, 3, 4, 2, right? And to print it out, you're going to do this, print, numeric, keys, followed by the key. For example, if I want to print the key number three, and here it is, east. That is the uh, numeric keys number three. To modify an entry in the dictionary, you just got to start with the diction dictionary name, for example, location, and then dart the key north equals to and then you change you give it a new value so for example north pole on the other hand if you want to remove an entry from the dictionary for example um, start with the uh, dictionary name followed by the key and you just set that to nil all right, and if we print out the table here. So here it is, let's take a look. We have the first key is east. Okay, so let's see. And remember these keys, they're, they're not in any order. So east is Atlantic Ocean, which is correct, right? Nowhere, take a guess, north is now the North Pole, and that's because we modified it here, right? And south is still Mexico. But notice there is no west key here. And the reason for that is we have removed the, the west key by setting it to nil. So if you look inside the table over here at the output window, you don't see west anywhere. If you want to add a new key, just use the table name followed by the new key. For example, further east equals to Europe. And let's take a look at our table. So here we have East is Atlantic Ocean, right? Further east is Europe. That's the new key that we have added to the table. Nowhere, still take a guess, north is the North Pole because we changed it here. And the south is Mexico. There is still no west key because we have removed it over here. Very similar to the arrays, to iterate through the, the dictionary, you're going to use in pairs. And um, the only difference with the array is I pairs, which works very well for the arrays. It does not work for the dictionaries. And pairs will skip all the nil values. 
So it's, it's the same as with the arrays. Uh, if any value is nil, it's gonna skip it. It's gonna go to the next entry. And when it's gonna go through the whole table, the whole dictionary, and each entry, it's gonna return a key value pair. So here I have the for loop and I'm using in pairs. I'm, specify, I'm specifying the name of my dictionary here, right? And this, this is going to return for each entry that it goes through, it's going to return like a key value pair. So for example, for the first entry here, north is going to be loaded into the key variable here and Canada is going to be loaded into the value here, which I use to print out in my print statement here. And it does it automatically. It's going to go loop through. It's just like a for loop that goes from one to the size of the array. It's going to loop through. And for every entry, it's going to print out the values. All right, so let's take a look. So there it is. This is my first printed statement. Further east is Europe. So the key is, the key is further east, which we, we added to the table here. And Europe is the value. That's the first one. The second one, nowhere is take a guess, which is this entry here. And south is Mexico, east is Atlantic Ocean, north is the North Pole, and that's because we made a change to um, the, the north key here. And again, you don't see west anywhere here, right? See east, nowhere, south, east, north. There is no west, and that's because we have removed it by setting the key to nil. All right, so that's all about dictionaries. In our next lesson, we're gonna learn about multi-dimensional arrays in Roblox.